Hey you. Yes, you. Do you want to edit like this dude? <laughs> over until I win. Oh, no hot damn But instead, you let it turn out to be something like this. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can turn your crap into something like this. So in this video, I'll teach you some of his effects, conditions, shakes and other things. Enough said, let's jump into the video itself. <laughs> For the first effect, duplicate the clip and cut where there is some major movement. Then draw a rough mask around the character. Do it for the rest of the trim layer and then apply saber. You can follow my settings. Recompose all the layers, um, scale it up and then add some turbulence to it. Now for the second clip, the clips are already pre-composed, in my case, so I will just go inside of it. It's for the ink splash effect, so I will just duplicate it three times and rename each one as their purpose. Drag and drop the ink overlay and time remap it according to your preferences. Hide the ink layer and then change one of the clips, stick mat to Yuma Inverted. Now add a bunch of effects to give it uh, the black and white inverted look. And on the eye layer, rotoscopic and add glow on it. While the ink splash layer is still unseen, manage its position to match the eyes perfectly. You can still mess with all the layers until it finally satisfies you. For the third effect, add SH Detect on the layer and follow my settings. Now add any glow you want to the layer. Marvin Divine. Uh, I'm saying better all the lies and other times you cried saying that I Then add a thing to it and change its overall color to the one you like. <laughs> 
Different commentators, and I don't know what you say about our private conversations, but it's got them hating things on all the rumors. Duplicate the layer and make one the glow layer and another normal. After that, animate the opacity of the glow layer to bring the effect into light. With that, we are done with the effects part. Now, let's move into the transitions. For the transition, make two null layers and pair in the first clip to the null layer and that to the another null layer. Our in transition will be a bit longer than the out transitions. Uh, so make your notes accordingly. Now make zoom ins and outs as we did for the other clips too. For the twist transition, we'll be using the warp. Add warp and change the mode to twist and then follow my keyframes and drop. I don't wanna see you fine and see you looking down and out. Coming to me crying, saying you miss having me around. Gave you chases and you blew it. You so easily influenced all the times you told me beat it. Now you gotta face the music I'm saying. After that, finish the clip with a zoom in. Add turbulence and follow my settings for a little impact. We'll be using different shakes for each clip to not make it look repeated. Add twitch and follow my settings. For the first shake, change the amount to 125, speed to 500 and enable light and slide. So many things that I left unsaid. We can change the settings for the slide if you want. After that, animate the amount. And uh, make a tight draft. For the second shake, change the speed to 30 and enable blur, light and slide. You can change the settings for a slide if you want. After that, animate the amount and make a tight graph. 